Hello, my dear children. Namaste and very warm welcome to session two of our ICSE BioBytes series. Yes, BioBytes in 15 minutes. And today we are going to be discussing the human heart in just 15 minutes. I mean, in a very, very short span of time within just a few minutes. So yes, here we get started. And just in case you are attending my session for the very first time, my name is Ambika and I'm your biology master teacher right here at Vedantu. Okay, guys, so um, let me just remind you that as with any other video in BioBytes uh, in 15 minute series, this will also be just crisp and uh, very, very short in case you are looking at something um, uh, learning with some uh, deeper kind of video, you know, in a deeper sense. Please do not forget to check out our main playlist because we have covered all of this well in detail in that playlist and you will be able to find it uh, find everything there okay so this is mainly intended to give you a very very quick revision especially before a test before your pre-boards before your board exams whatever it may be very very quick revision okay so here we start it's time to believe in you super super important and always remember this every single morning as soon as you wake up right okay and um, also guys let me remind you before i forget that we've got amazing courses at vedantu please check out all the details of vedantu pro subscription by clicking on the link in the description box below and also in the pinned comment remember to apply the coupon code ambpro as well so that you can avail them at amazing prices okay guys so yes here it is the human heart and blood circulation Externally, this is what the human heart looks like. It's located in the thoracic cavity, protected by a double-layered um, wall, a, a double-layered membrane, which we call the pericardium, a double-layered membrane which protects it. And internally, we can say that it's divided into four chambers, the right and left atria and the right and left ventricles, upper atria and the lower ventricles, okay, atria or auricles as we also call them. Okay, so um, remember the, um, between the atria and ventricles, there is a partition which we call the atrioventricular septum, but there is also atrial septum and ventricular septum separating the two atria and the two ventricles respectively okay so always remember there is a proper partition between each of these chambers okay so yes this is the main thing about the chambers of our heart and the next major aspect we need to know about our heart is the presence of valves remember we've got three major types of valves in the human heart the first one being the tricuspid valve which guards the opening between the right atrium and the right ventricle just to give you perspective let me just write that here as well do not do not um, miss out on the schematic representation whenever you learn about the human heart children because this is super duper important to have it clear in your mind what is right and left as far as our heart diagram is concerned okay so yes this is what i'm talking about the tricuspid valve would be found here remember it's r t r how i want you to remember it because tricuspid valve is found in between the right atrium and the right ventricle it guards the opening between the right atrium and the right ventricle so that back, backflow of blood does not occur. Then comes the bicuspid valve which we would found which we would find between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Okay, sorry, this is the right ventricle and here between the left atrium and the left ventricle you would find the bicuspid valve also called the mitral valve. Okay, so L, B, L left atrium bicuspid valve left ventricle bicuspid valve is also called the mitral valve lbl okay so however you want to remember it think of it like that all right and then we also have semi lunar valves semi is half lunar refers to moon so pretty much like half moon shape where do you find them you find these valves at the junction between the pulmonary artery and the right ventricle and the aorta and the left ventricle okay yes so here it is i know we've discussed a lot of things everything together for you the four major chambers of the heart the three major valves of the heart and the major blood vessels everything out there for you at one glance 
Okay, guys. So always remember, arteries carry blood away from the heart. This is also super important to know. We've got three major kinds of blood vessels, arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood towards the heart. Capillaries are one cell in thickness, transporting blood or exchanging um, oxygen and carbon dioxide um, between blood vessels and the cells and tissues of the body. So capillaries are what are directly in touch with every single cell and tissue of your body. Okay, Aorta is the biggest artery. Always remember this and the major um, exception which is um, in terms of carrying oxygenated and deoxygenated blood remember pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein are the only exception in this sense but all arteries always carry blood away from the heart all veins always carry blood towards the heart okay so um, it's also important to know that the heart is self-excitatory the pacemaker of the heart is what we call the sinoatrial node we call it the pacemaker of the heart Okay, and where do you find it? You find this as a um, patch of tissue found in the upper corner, the right upper corner of the right atrium, right here, this yellow spot here. See that? It's called the sinoatrial node or the pacemaker of the heart, SA node. And then um, there is also another one to which the SA node generates the uh, excitatory impulses, pass it on, passes it on to another um, set of tissues here, which is called the AV node, okay, atrioventricular node, which is found here. And then from there, it spreads further across the entire uh, wall of the heart. Okay, the bundle of his, the Purkinje fibers and all of them. So that is about the conducting system um, in the heart, how exactly it works as a self-excitatory organ. Now children, coming to yet another super important part, the circulation of blood. You must have a very, very, very clear understanding of this. Okay, so majorly remember that the right atrium, you, you must know the four chambers and I've also told you about the major blood vessels. Okay, so here it says whenever you have to start describing the blood circulation in humans, um, I would uh, suggest you can start with the right atrium. From the right atrium to the right ventricle, uh, deoxygenated blood is pumped by contraction. Okay, and then when the right ventricle contracts, what happens is this deoxygenated blood is carried by the pulmonary artery from here to the lungs for the sake of oxygenation. And then that oxygenated blood is carried back this way by the pulmonary vein. Okay, Oxygenated blood is carried and emptied into the left atrium. When the left atrium contracts, it would be pumped into the left ventricle. Always remember atria contract together ventricles contract together and because of the partition between them the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood are not mixing up with each other okay now from the left atrium it moves into the left ventricle so now it is oxygenated blood in the left ventricle and when the left ventricle contracts the oxygenated blood flows out of the heart through the main artery which is the aorta yes the aorta carries oxygenated blood from the heart to every part of your body not directly the aorta once it leaves your heart it splits up into further arterioles and capillaries ultimately so that it can transport oxygenated blood to every cell and tissue of your body Okay, so yes, this way it comes to all the body organs and what do the capillaries now do? The capillaries would collect the carbon dioxide rich blood from the different organs and cells of the body and it joins to form venules which join to form veins and all of them ultimately join to form the vena cava. The superior and inferior vena cava transport deoxygenated blood from the upper and lower parts of the body respectively into the right atrium. So the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava bring deoxygenated blood into the right atrium and the cycle continues. So as you can see blood flows twice through the heart and as a result we call it double circulation. Very important for you to know. Now children I know if you are learning this for the very first time, this may seem like a lot of information for you. So my suggestion is check out the main playlist because we've done that, done all this slow and steady step by step. But for a quick revision, I'm sure this is going to be of very, very 
really, really big use to all of you. Okay, so he has the entire session in a bite size. Human's uh, heart is located in the thoracic cavity. Heart is protected by the pericardium. And it's got two upper chambers called the atria, two lower chambers called the ventricles. And um, also remember the septa, which separate the different chambers of the heart. Um, SA node is the pacemaker of the heart found in the right upper corner of the right atrium. Um, and we've got the bicuspid or the mitral valve. And we've also got the tricuspid valve guarding the openings between the atria and ventricle. Um, RTR, LBL remember that okay um and yes of course about the double circulation the entire thing about what aorta does um and what the pulmonary artery would do okay so yes that is about double circulation so yes i think we've done a good job of learning this entire thing very very quickly if you found this useful children please do remember to click on the like button right now and do not do not do not miss out to share this right now with all your class 10 icse friends i would suggest uh, cbsc friends also but i think i've made a separate one specifically for cbsc um in this topic which is according to their syllabus so that's all right but anyway please share it with all your friends because sharing is always caring and stay subscribed to the channel vedantu 9th and 10th english because we are going to be coming up with a lot more in the bio bite series for you um for cbsc 9 and 10 it's been done already icse 10 it's happening more are on the way and of, of course new series will also be coming up very soon that's about it from my side children i'll see you again in yet another amazing session stay home stay happy and stay healthy until then bye bye